as you know, uh, female scientists are really scarce. We need to train uh, more female scientists. Uh, there are less female who are uh, winning research grants. First of all, who are training at masters and PhD levels? If you compare uh, between male and female, the female uh, numbers are sp still low, especially uh, in Africa. So we really need to, to support them. Uh, we have been looking around to see how much uh, African scientists, female scientists, are contributing. When you look at grants they win, the publications they have, uh, the leadership they have in, in the region is quite below that of the female. Yes, the, the male, yet they are capable, they are able to do that. So this is one of the efforts to bring up uh, women, to support them, so that they can move to more senior academic positions in our region, promoting them as scientists, uh, giving them the, the opportunity uh, to study and to upgrade, uh, so that we can really lower that imbalance between uh, the female. Uh, and the male. Uh, and I think this has gone on over a period of time. We can't say that we have not made, made a big stride. We have made a big stride. There are many uh, female scientists, including in our institutions, but there are some countries and institutions that are lagging a little bit more behind, and we need to support them. So this is one of the aims of this, uh, really to support uh, female uh, scientists so that we can have more of them uh, taking on leadership, uh, winning grants, publishing, and discovery. So this is really one of the, the aim of this uh, uh, project. About we need funding, partly is to do that. A, a very